So, um, today we'll be looking a little bit at um, how to set up uh, Nuxt uh, for uh, Tauri. And uh, one of the reasons we'll be looking at Nuxt specifically is because Create Tauri app doesn't have a Nuxt template. Uh, I've used Nuxt for many years now as my uh, go to front end uh, for anything I make really. Um, for those who don't, who don't know, Nuxt is basically uh, something that came around before Vue CLI was a thing and is still the best alternative, in my opinion, available for SSG slash SPA with Vue. Vue CLI went more for the uh, SSR approach, whereas uh, Nuxt sticked to their SSG SPA um, approach, which is also why it's uh, actually really a really good fit for um, using with the Tauri. And uh, without further ado, let's uh, set up a basic project. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use just the basic command they offer, npx nuxi latest init my app. So if we run that, we say OK. And for those of you who don't know, I've already set up uh, my dev container um, in this. Um, we're going to move all of these files over to the parent folder. So they're now at the root of the project. Because I like doing it, I'm going to create a source directory where we're going to put public as well as app.view. This is just personal preference. Those of you who use Nuxt should be familiar with why I'm doing it. So here we have the Nuxt config. The first thing we have to do is set SSR to false. And we need to set source dir to source. Um, then we're going to run pnpm i, which thankfully uh, the Nuxt uh, template has already given us uh, the proper setup to support pnpm. Since we're working in my uh, uh, dev container, we're going to add pnpm store to our git ignore. So if we now try to run our Nuxt frontend, we should see exactly this. And we're just going to wait until we see this. So now we have a Nuxt uh, app set up, the, the basics of it. All we're going to work on now is setting this up so that it's displayed in a Tauri window. What we're going to do now is pnpm add Tauri apps slash CLI and add Tauri. Oh, actually, we'll do that after. Just add the CLI for now. Now we can go to package JSON and we're just going to add the Tauri command. Now we're going to run pnpm tauri init. Uh, we're just going to call it next app. That's fine. Uh, and it will be in this. It will be localhost 3000. And it will be pnpm. And we don't need the run part. And we're going to do pnpm generate. Our build command. Then we can run the npm Tauri dev. And I do believe everything should be good to go with that. And as per usual, first time around, we have to wait a second for things to build.
Almost there. Just a little bit longer. GTK is by far the biggest uh, dependency. And there we go. Um, as you can see, this is Nux uh, running in um, Tauri. Um, the next thing we're going to look at is how to add the Tauri API. Uh, most of you probably already know how. Uh, we're just going to run pnpm add at Tauri apps API. Here, uh, in order to switch from uh, Nuxt Welcome, we're going to do Nuxt Layout. We're actually also going to install its. Yes, it's over. So we get some better highlighting. Um, so we're going to add Nuxt Layout, then we're going to add Layouts folder. We're going to add default.view template um, next page. Then we're going to add uh, pages. We're going to add index.view template hello world. Now we're just gonna run this. Thankfully, the second time it's way faster, uh, at least on the Tauri end. Uh, in my experience, Nuxt takes a bit longer than it has to. But there you go. Pages, default, goes to Nuxt page. This takes Nuxt layout. Oh, that's why. There we go. So, hello world. Uh, we've now created our own custom page in uh, Nuxt. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a script section. And we're just going to do this the super basic way. So this would be in port invoke from at Tauri at API. Export default uh, mounted. And just because we can and we're cool, we're going to switch language to TypeScript. Here we're going to run invoke greet. If we open up the console here and we go to source tauri and we verify that yeah, there's no greet command yet. So what we have to do is we have to do Tauri command function greet um, string format. We don't need format really, but we're just gonna say hello. My eternal enemy, Rust Analyzer. But it's fine. Handlers. Whenever I'm in doubt on on what the actual right it's generate handler right um Tauri generate why are you complaining all right if that ever complains 
literally just do this. That should prevent it from complaining, although, yeah, you have to save so it. Oh, God damn it. So that it actually gets rid of it. Now we should have the greet command, and when we invoke it, we should be returning the string hello. We can also print line hello, and this is because I can't be bothered setting up the rest of it. Uh, as you can see, we got hello in the terminal, and we're returning the string hello from Rust. In our front end, let's do a const uh, reftval equals in await invoke console log reftval. Hello from Rust. We can also do data return message. And we can do this dot message equals. Are you complaining? All oh, right. And we can do message. There we go. Hello from Rust. And uh, yeah, that's all you really need uh, to know about setting up a basic Nuxt uh, app. Uh, so all we did was we uh, ran the basic Nuxt uh, creator uh, for a, a new basic app. Then we ran uh, uh, Tauri in it in order to create source Tauri and then we set up the API and that really was all there was to it. We also set up SSR false. This is most of the magic you need. There's a bit more magic you can set up um, for your uh, Vite uh, or Vite or however you're supposed to uh, pronounce that if you're going to use version 2. So if we look at um, mobile development in um, with uh, the next version, version two of Tauri, uh, you're gonna have to look at this part in particular. Uh, since we don't officially support um, other, uh, you know, um, support Nuxt, uh, I'm not sure if we will have an entry for it, but Nuxt uses Vit um, anyway, so this is basically the sort of setup you'll need to do for uh, version uh, 2, and I believe all you really have to do is Vit server, oh, I, I don't know if you were allowed to set the host, no. Because uh, Nuxt is a little bit special about this, it doesn't want you to um, to use whatever you want. Because I believe both host and port, yeah, they don't want you to use host or port. Then we have HMR, protocol, VS. And I do think, I think this is all you need in order to make it work uh, for version 2. Um, because I do believe host and port are set up automatically for both of these sections when you're using Nuxt. So all you have to do is tell it to use uh, WebSocket and uh, strict port in order to have the same type of config we have here. I don't think internal port or internal IP is actually required uh, with when you're using Nuxt because I believe it already uses 0, 0, 0, 0. I think so at least. Anyway, um, 
that's been next with uh, Tauri. I uh, hope that answered um, any questions you might have as to how to set it up. That's it for this time. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.